today's tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing us how to do um, is it a, a twisted hairpiece? A twisted hairpiece. So here with me I have a cutout of 31 inches length by 6 inches width. Your width, you can decide to increase your width to 8 inches. It all depends on how wide you want the hairband to be. And I have this cut out in two places. I have it in two places. I'm using a non-stretchy fabric because I want to use it for a, a gown. I want to use the hairpiece to rock a gown. So the fabric is non-stretchy. You can use stretchy, you can use non-stretchy fabric. It all depends on you. So I'm going to be, I'm going to clap it this way. I have limited fabric, even I wanted to use 8 inches. So, but I have limited fabric, that's why I use 6 inches. So for yours, if you have enough fabric, you can use 8 inches. So I'm going to clap it into two and run a straight stitch from one end to the other for the both piece. I close it like this, run a straight stitch from one end to the other for the both um, cut out. Let me do that and get back to you. I've done my straight stitch from here to here down. So right now I'm going to be turning it inside out, bringing in the right side. I will turn the boat piece inside out. I've turned it, I now have the right side. I'm going to iron it, I want a smooth feel because of how the fabric is. I've done my ironing. So you can decide to, I'm going to fill in these two uh, pieces that I've cut out with my fiber. You can decide to use fiber or if you have foam available, you can decide to fill it with foam. But your foam, you have to cut out since this piece now is 6 inches, that's 3 inches on fold. So you have to cut out 3 inches of, of uh, foam and fix it in. Or if you're using fiber, you just put fiber inside. So I'm going to be using fiber to fill it. What I'll just do, I'll open it up, I'll fill it with fiber. I will use something to help me be pushing it inside as I feel. So that's what I'm just trying to do now. Just trying to feel, fill in this with fiber. So I filled it up. I filled it up with my fiber. You can see it. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to join these both ends. Hope we are seeing it. You join the both ends, hold it down like this. Use your needle and thread to tack it. Let me get my needle and my thread. I said you use, you join it together. Make sure that part that you have your straight stitch is at the center like this. Use it to cover each other like this. And then at this point, squeeze it together. You see how I squeezed it together? Then you can just, you can sew it down or tack it down or use your sewing machine to run a straight stitch. Whichever one you want to do, you do to it. So see what I'm going to do to mine. I'm just tying it together. Tying the two ends together with my thread. So I will tie it firmly, tighten it and cut off my excess thread. I will tighten it and cut off my excess thread. Before I will start twisting. Remember I told you that we are doing the twisted hairband. You can do it with a stretchy fabric. When you're, you can do it with a stretchy fabric. You can just do it with any fabric at all of your choice. Any fabric at all of your choice is fine. So that's that. After now, what you need to do is to get somebody to hold this point for you. Get somebody to hold this point for you while you start twisting it. See what so I'm going to be twisting it now. But before you start twisting it, make sure you close up this end point. You can use your sewing machine, you can use your needle and thread so that your foam or your fiber will not be falling out. And then ask somebody to hold this side for you for a final result or a firmer result. Make sure your twists are tight. When you're twisting it, it should be tight. Hmm? Let me get someone to hold for me. 
I'm going, please, I'm going to twist aside the camera because I want to look for someone to hold it for me. But what you do is like this now, normal twisting when you're twisting hair, like this. Hmm? You just be twisting it like this. Just like that, twist it just like that. You understand? You turn it like that like that but i said for a better result let somebody hold this end for you so this is it i'm done twisting it i'm done twisting it so what i will do is to tack down this edge tack down this edge i told you that you can use a stretchy fabric when you use a stretchy fabric no matter how big the head is it will enter the head size you understand but if you are using a non-stretchy fabric you have to make sure that the size you did will go through will go through your your head so i'm going to be tacking it at this point with my needle and my thread make sure your this thing your your twisting is very firm if it's not that firm it's going to lose it so it has to be very firm what i'm just trying to do is tacking it down to hold it in place So I'm going to tack it down and then just like this, just what you see me doing and then I'll cut off my excess thread. So I'm done, I'm done tacking it just like I told you. Here with me I have two um, pieces of fabric that I cut out. The measurement is 6 inches length. The length, how long it, it is, it, how long it is a six inches then the width is four inches see what I'll be using this for so I'm going to place it like this like this I'm placing it like this at this tip or just the tip I'll sew it all around I'll sew it all around on this tip using my needle and my thread before I'll turn it this way. I'm going to be using my needle and thread to sew it all around. See what I'll be doing. I've threaded my needle. Like I told you, I said I'm going to use it here. And then that I will be tacking it all around. So I'm going to start my tacking from here. Let it be firm, please. If it's not firm, it won't be fine. Your tacking should be firm. Make sure you close off the side. What I'm trying to do is to close off the side first before I start sewing it all around. I'm just trying to tack it down all around. That's what I'm just doing here. So when you're done tacking, you tie it up firmly. You make sure it's firmly tied. just to be sure that it's firmly tied. After that, you see what we have here. So I'm going to still turn it like this. 
I will use my sewing machine or my needle and my thread. You can still use gum to gum it down. I will sew straight down and straight down to this point. I will just leave like half an inch that we used to turn it inside out. See how I'll do it. I'll go straight down. I'll come this way and close up to this point. I will do same to the other side and then show you. Like I told you, I've done the sewing. So from the the one inch at this place that I left is too much. Half inch self would have been fine. You just turn it inside out from there. Turn it inside out from there. And this is your remaining opening. You can just apply your fabric gum and gum it. Or tack it with your needle and thread. Do invisible tacking. Let it not be pronounced. So I will still turn this out too. I said that um, part that is left, you can use the needle and thread to close it up. You can use your fabric gum to close it up. When you are using your needle and thread, do invisible tacking to read. Okay, so right now, we are done closing up with our fabric um, gum. Or if you are using your needle and thread, at this point, if you are using a stretchy fabric, you can just go to your sewing machine turn it this way and close up here so that this part will be inside after so you bring it it will be firm you just do it like that because if you're using a stretchy fabric even if it's smaller than your head because it stretches it will enter you understand but if you're not using it uh, if you're using a non-stretchy fabric you have to put this on your head know the size of your head before you close up you understand i'll put it on my head I will know the one that goes around my head before I will know the part to close up. So if I've known the part to close up, I will just fix it this way, close it up and turn it inside out. So if you are using a stretchy fabric, still try putting it on your head, though it stretches, so that you know the point you will close up. You know the point at which you will close it up. So I'm going to go to my sewing machine. You don't close it up outside like this, you fix it inside. Close it up so that after closing it up, when you turn it, you have a smooth feel at this end. And after closing it up, we're going to be putting a, a bow at the back. So this is just my my bow cut out. The measurement I have here, your own can be wider, your own can be smaller. You understand? I have 10, 10 inches by 14.5 inches. 10 inches by 14.5. 10 inches by 14.5 inches so i'm going to close it like this as i close it i cut out um, a soft breast part that is just equal to one portion of the fabric i'm going to take it to my sewing machine i'm going to close up everywhere from here i'll close up to this way and then to this way remember i will still close up this like this so let me do that and get back to you So right now, I've closed it up. You see the back. I just have to tack it down here, tack it down here. So when the reverse end is fine, you see it. This is it. This is how you rock it. Then we're going to be attaching the bow like I told you. I've closed it all up like I told you that I would do. Then, then our normal procedure, I will open up the center a bit. And then from that center, I open. From this center I opened, I'm going to be turning my bow inside out from that part. I'll turn it inside out, then bring out the edges very well. Bring out the edges very well. I, should, I will ensure that all the edges are out. So that's that. What I will do now, I've turned them inside out. What I will do now is to form my bow. I'll form my bow by just, you can do, take it this way, or you can just decide to pick it. 
fold you fold again or you just decide to pick it when you are picking it make sure they are you're picking they are the same height fabric is somehow you pick it and then tie the center tie it at the center so I'm going to be tying it at the center when you are tying it make sure you tie it firmly and make sure it's at the center please so I will check if it's centralized I think I think it's at the center or oh, oh, this is how you check it before you firm it. You have to check it before you firm your thread. You have to check it to be sure it's at the center. We should do it. Okay, now it's at the center. I can now tighten it up. So you will tie it firmly at this point and cut off your excess thread. I'll tie it firmly and cut off my excess thread. So our bow is ready. You see our bow? It's ready. The next thing to do is to now attach it here using your needle and thread or using a loop to cover it up. But we are, we are going to first hold it down using our needle and thread and we're going to cut out a loop let it be like uh, as a very already made format. What do I mean by a loop? A loop is just um, something that will cover it as a, a neat tiny fabric to cover it. So let me cut it out and t tell you my measure. So I've cut out my loop. For my loop, I have the length is five inches. The length is five inches and the width is three inches for my loop. So I'm still going to take it to my sewing machine. I'm going to sew it straight down to this point and then turn it inside out. I'll sew straight down and turn it inside out. Let me do that and show you. I've sewn the loop and I've turned it inside out. This is the loop. The next thing I'm going to do is to tap this bow to this center part using my needle and my thread. I'm going to tap it down to the center part. Tack it neatly. Tack it neatly down. Or you can decide to even tie it. You know I like I like it the easier way out. Ah, for the lazy women association, you can just decide to tie it since we are covering it up with the loop. And just decide to tie it, tie it to that center part. So you just hold, hold the two like this. Then you're good to go. Just tie it down. But if you can sew, no problem. Sew it. If you cannot sew, you are looking for the easy way out. To look just like me, you can follow the same procedure. Just hold it down. Then I'll tie it. At that same line where you use in tying your bow, that same line you tied your bow from, that's the same line you follow and tie this one down too. So if you want to tack it, it's better you still tack it. So I'm done tying it. I want to tie it. Red. Tying it firmly and then I'll cut off my excess thread. Feel. So I'm done, I'm done tying the bow, or if you're tacking it, let's say you're done tacking it. So the next thing we're going to do is to use our loop to cover that thread line. You see my sewing, I placed it facing up like this first, covering it. Then this, I will now turn it inside like this, using my needle and thread, 
I will tack it. You know you're holding both together now. I'm closing it up using my needle and my thread. I'm just trying to close it up. Same thing you will do to your own. That's what I'm doing now, closing it. So I'm done tacking. I will cut off my excess thread. Then come to the inside like this. You see these excesses? My battery is low, so the light has gone dim. I will cut off this. I will cut it off. And then turn it, turn it so that that place I tacked will be inside. You understand? Turn it, that place I tacked will be inside, and this my stitching line will be inside too. So turn it and cover up that your tacking line. So that's that. Trying, just trying to position it well. You see that that my stitch. That part I tacked is now inside. As you can see, it's now inside. It's not showing. So we are done. Our hairband, twisted hairband with bow, is ready. Our twisted hairband with bow is ready. So I want you to produce your own unique design. Our twisted hairband with bow is ready. So that's our end result. It's dark already, but at least you can see it. That is our end result. There's the back view. All right, looking forward to seeing your own practicals. Thank you for staying tuned. Bye for now.